All right, so we're gonna continue importing our tables. So let's go back to our new source data from Excel. I am browsing for that spreadsheet, or I could have saved the name. I've done everything up to retailer sales. So let's go ahead and do the retailer sales items, which is the most difficult one, because in this particular table, you have to make sure that um, these two items become the primary key. So for that purpose, we are not gonna select the primary uh, key at this point, but let's just check the data types, short text, that is a short text, that should be a currency field, and that should be a double. Um, we can go next, and instead of adding a primary key, I'm gonna choose no primary key at all. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and save it. And once I have the table imported, I can right click on it and press the sign. Or I could have gone to home and selected that and I could have done the, the sign view as well. Um, the way that we create a primary key as we have done it before is by pressing the primary key. But in this case, we have to select the gray box that's on the left of the field name and I can press Control or Shift and go to the next field so I can grab those two or highlight both of those fields. And then I'm gonna make a composite key by pressing the primary key on both of those tables. Uh, that's just a very simple way of grabbing it. And now I have a table that is properly indexed uh, for both the order ID and catalog ID, which represents our stock flow, if you recall, for our retailer sales and our inventory items. Uh, together. So that is done. I can close this now. And finally, I'm going to grab a the last Excel file. Or the last table for my Excel file, and that should be my sales reps. And that's a very simple table. Uh, we are going to verify the data types. All of them are short text. And that is correct. Notice that this is a violation of the one place, one fact rule, but we're gonna ignore it for now for simplicity purposes. And we're gonna choose uh, my sales rep or our sales rep ID as our primary key. And we can finish that and save it. And that is it as far as saving um, your tables or importing them. And we can get started. Uh, with creating relationships at this point. Thank you.